So now in this video, I'm going to introduce you the resistor component. And when you're learning electronics, generally you use resistors that look like this. And so these are usually one quarter watt. We'll get into that later. That's the amount of heat that they dissipate. They're usually either beige or blue with this appearance here. Axial lead here means the wires come out of the opposite sides of the component there. And through hole, they have wires to go through holes. That's what that means. So these are the typical resistors you'll start out with while you're learning electronics and building prototype circuits and stuff. The colored stripes on here indicate how much resistance the resistor is rated for. And this one here is a 470 ohm resistor with a 5% tolerance. So uh, we got yellow for four, violet for seven, and brown for one zero. The last stripe is the number of zeros. I should say second to last stripe is the number of zeros. And then the last stripe tells you how off you can expect the resistor to be. So this can be 5% different from its rated value. Either 5% higher or lower. And so 470 ohms there. Now this resistor, these blue ones tend to be more accurate. So they have more stripes for numbers. And then the uh, tolerance, the last stripe, is generally brown to tell you it can be 1% higher or lower. So we have green for 5, brown for 1, and black for 0. And then a red stripe here for two zeros. Red stands for 2, so two zeros for 51000 ohms of resistance, 51,000 ohms of resistance. So now, if you don't want to learn the color code, that's really not a problem. There's tools called multimeters. You just, uh, when there's no current flowing through here, it's not attached to a running circuit at all. You can just touch the probes of a multimeter to both sides and have it set to measure resistance, and it will tell you the resistance. And also, generally, resistors are labeled pretty well. So, I got these resistors from a kit. It says 470 and then R. That's just pretty much to say resistance. Usually there's an omega symbol. We'll look at that later. But it means the same thing with R here. So this is a 470 ohm resistor. So the packaging has the resistance. So when I take these resistors out, I don't take all of them out. When I put them back in, I make sure the colors line back up. Make sure I got the right ones in there. So now, here's a blue one in here. So, I bought this resistor separately. This is blue like this one, but instead of a one quarter watt, it's a one watt resistor. It can dissipate four times as much power without being destroyed as a one quarter watt resistor. So now we'll look at all of these blue only resistors. Here's where I got that one watt resistor I was talking about earlier at 470 ohms. Again, we got yellow for four, violet for seven, but then we got black for zero, so 470. And then this fourth stripe, which is black, means zero zeros, no zeros. And then brown for 1% tolerance. It can be 1% higher or lower because of slight differences at the factory. So very accurate resistor. These have the same resistance rating, but you see they're much smaller. They're the same size as the beige ones. So these are also one quarter resistors, but uh, one quarter watt, but these are one watt resistors. Now, these didn't come in baggies with the resistance on them. So the paper stripe that holds the new resistors has the resistance written on it. So 470 ohms and 470 ohms. They have the same color stripes and the same resistance. The only difference is the larger ones can dissipate more heat. They have a higher power rating. So now hopefully I didn't spend too much time on that and you're still watching, but uh, now we're gonna get to what the resistor does and how you look at it in a circuit. So ultimately what a resistor does is reduce current 
from the uh, power source. In this case, this symbolizes a 9 volt battery. I forgot to write 9 volt on here. Generally, the battery, this is the battery symbol for schematics. They tell you the voltage. Sometimes you just have a simplified schematic like this with the uh, voltage written on the positive side. This side's considered zero volts, so we have a nine volt difference between here. Same thing with the battery, positive on one side, negative on the other. It may not say positive and negative. The longer dash is positive for the battery symbol. But in any case, the voltage should be written on there. And then uh, it comes to the resistor here. We're going to go the path from positive to negative. So the resistor here generally looks like jagged lines with the resistance written right next to it. And it may or may not have the omega symbol here to represent ohms. But uh, if you see jagged lines, that's resistance. And if it's kilo ohms, it might say 4.7k ohms like that. The ohm omega symbol may even be omitted. If it's jagged lines though, you know it's a resistor, 4.7K. Now, to complicate things a little, I don't see this a whole lot, but many countries use a rectangle for the resistor instead of the jagged lines. So be aware of that. The rectangle may be a resistor. Now, the resistance is usually given in this format for the same value resistor as this one. It might say 4K7. So what that saying is uh, 4,700 ohms, so 4.7 kilo ohms. Saying the same thing as this one, but it's used in that format. The, the dot here is sometimes hard to see, especially on poor quality schematics. So this is what they came up with. They replaced the dot with the K for kilo. And then a lot of times they omit the omega symbol for both of these, but uh, just be aware of that. If it's a jagged lines or a rectangle, that both means resistor, and it may say 4.7K, or it may say 4K7 for 4,700. So now we'll talk about what the resistor actually does in a circuit. So what it does is it reduces current, especially when there's just one resistor. You can use resistors in a way that they set a voltage. You get a percentage of the uh, battery voltage or the power source voltage but we're not going to get into that in this video all we're going to worry about right now is current so the amount of resistance that it has is telling you how much it's going to reduce current based on the voltage so the higher the resistance for a given voltage the less current lower resistance will equal more current now the uh, diode also blocks a little current it actually blocks some voltage so there's less voltage in the circuit uh, so that helps reduce current a little but for the most part it doesn't really especially with 9 volts doesn't really reduce much of that voltage and uh, it's just gonna basically let current run through it freely and so the resistors the one that reduces the current so the resistors primarily protecting the LED in this circuit and so with 9 volts 470 ohms we're getting I think when you have an LED about 15 milliamps of current 15 16 somewhere in that range with a uh, newer 9 volt battery and LEDs are rated for no more than about 20 milliamps of continuous current so that's gonna let the LED bright LED be bright and also protect it from too much current that's the main job of a resistor and when the circuit is designed for you in schematic form as I said it will tell you the value of the resistor so you don't have to worry too much if you're going by schematics and building on getting the right resistor but if you're going to design your own circuits you're going to need to know the current limitations of other components and the resistor value and be able to calculate that so I think I've already done a video on that but uh, I'll uh, do a video if I haven't and so now with this circuit it's set out kind of like this schematic form you can either have usually positive as on the left and it works its way to the right and so to negative so you may have a negative symbol or more likely you'll probably have this ground symbol which means the same thing 
ultimately means the same thing when you have one battery you go from positive side of the battery to the negative side of the battery a lot of times you call the negative side of the battery ground so this ground symbol could be put there to tell you the same thing or you could just have a loop that goes around and so this goes through both components and back to negative as you can see there but uh, this circuit that I have on here I'll show you a real circuit too on a breadboard but uh, you can see here it starts at positive goes to one side of the resistor then it goes through the resistor and then it comes to the long lead of the LED the anode as you can see here this is inserted a certain way into the circuit it has to be inserted this way to conduct with this 9 volt battery and resistor if you put it in backwards it won't conduct it won't light up but when you put it this way anode here cathode here it will conduct and light up when there's current flowing and so now we actually put together the circuit on the breadboard so you can see we have the positive side of the battery the red wire to the red row and then the black side the negative side of the battery over to the blue row and then we just built our circuit from there so we have to connect this row to this row and then uh, these two rows are not connected there's a gap there so we're using the resistor to connect to this row which connects to the long lead the anode of the LED short leads down here this is another separate row so current has to flow through here to get here and then the jumper wire over to there and now I'm gonna move the uh, power source back as I said the long lead of the LED the anode is more positive short lead is over here now if you trim them of course the the uh, length of the leads are going to be whatever you cut them to so that's just when they're new if you cut them they'll probably be equal and there's a flat edge on the uh, cathode side which needs to be more negative to conduct it's very common for circuits not to work because the diode or an LED which is a type of diode is backwards so it's important you uh, get that straight so now I'm going to take this out this uh, LED you see long leads on top now I'm going to turn it this way I'm going to put it on the negative row and then the short lead the cathode in the row with the resistor and it doesn't want to go into the slot right now there we go and now you can see it's blocking the current because it's backwards so beware of that but in any case this was a pretty detailed video on the resistor it's used in a lot of circuits in different ways but uh, the main premise is that the amount of resistance that it has is going to reduce current. And if we use a higher value resistor, the LED is just going to be less bright. As you can see here, now I'm using a 51 kilo ohm resistor. But this is a beige 51 kilo ohm resistor, not the blue one that uh, we looked at in the picture. And you can't even tell that the LED is lit unless you turn the lights down. Now you can see it's lit. But... Uh, it's it's very dim and that's because we're using about a hundred times as much resistance so the LED is getting close to one hundredth of the current that it was getting with the 470 ohm resistor